Happy New Year and welcome to my first studio vlog of 2023. Please excuse the donut hoodie. It's so cold in the studio today um, just because it's a literally a wooden garden shed outside. It's so cold in here so I've got some little plug-in heaters and I'm hoping it'll warm up soon. Um, anyway, yeah, so happy 2023. I hope you had a lovely Christmas and New Year. Um, I thought I would start the studio vlog today which is Tuesday the 3rd of January because one of my main goals of this year is to actually post on YouTube a bit more consistently and we'll see how that goes. So I thought I might start this video by kind of sharing my 2023 goals and resolutions for both my business and myself. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get them up on my phone and I will read them to you. So this is the document I have on Notion. Um, so I'm going to read it. So number one is to kind of live slower but more mindfully um, and really what that means is to not be so stressed and constantly busy um, kind of appreciate when I get some downtime because the last year although it's been so amazing and I'm so grateful for the work I've had um, I just feel like I need time to actually sit and paint and progress my art style because I feel like that's what kind of suffered last year because I wasn't getting that much time to create art um so yeah just not be as stressed I hope and just be more mindful about it all um my second thing is a flower a day that's basically where I'm going to use this little sketchbook um I've painted the cover and I'm going to draw a flower in it every single day just because flowers kind of come naturally to dr me drawing they can be super simple so I could do it in five minutes or take longer and I just think it's a really good start to get me drawing every single day again um so yeah I would like to do a new painting every week um we'll see how that goes it might be every two weeks because sometimes paintings take a bit longer but just to actually do traditional art again I would really really enjoy that I want to draw in my sketchbook for out of seven days so apart from the flower a day painting actually drawing um so four just out of seven days doesn't seem too bad because then I can actually have a break on the weekend or on days I'm not feeling too great um my next goal is to carry on learning ceramics I started in September and it truly is one of the best things I've done. I really am enjoying ceramics so much. I'm actually going today and I've just been drawing up some ideas for what I'm going to make. So yeah, I would really, really like to be way better at ceramics by the end of the year. So my next kind of resolution is a quick one. So I want to learn a 3D software. Um, maybe on my mac or something like that um post to youtube more consistently as i mentioned before i want to learn to bake and cook more i kind of know the basics but i always feel like i don't have time to cook and then my partner cooks um so yeah i actually want to enjoy time cooking i guess that kind of goes into the live slower so if i want to make a meal and it takes an hour i want to be able to do that um spend more time outside i don't want to be cooped up inside all day i think it can be too easy to do that and whenever i do leave the house i feel so much better for it and um, it's just like that thing of making myself leave um so yeah i will end up walking the puppy a bit more which will be nice um open a patreon which i had opened when i was at uni but in my final year i closed it just so i could focus on my uni work so i'd like to open that back up and have like a little community of friends um my next one is to make friends since i've moved home i've been so focused on everything here and running my business i haven't put myself out there and it can get really lonely so definitely make some friends um and then the last one is to carry on doing some sublimation i tested it 
it might be a year ago now um, and I haven't used it since because I just haven't had the time to experiment and learn all of the techniques that go with it but this year I'd like to carry on with my sublimation and hopefully sell a few bigs from that so yeah that is my 2023 goals most of them are work related however my work is also my personal life so we can't really get away from that and yeah so today is Tuesday um, and I am going to ceramics later so I've just kind of been planning what I might do um, I don't know if I'll do these today because I have some things to glaze from my last session but these are what I was drawing and these are all like little letter holders because um, I never know where to put the letters that come through the door so yeah they're cute um, but then this is like a little wall shelf that I'd like to do and it looks like a postage stamp um, so yeah just some ceramics ideas I've just opened this new sketchbook so that this can be my ceramic sketchbook a bit messier and just can jot all my ideas down so yeah I will film whatever I do at ceramics and I will insert it into the vlog I'll see you later Hi, it's voiceover Meg and this is what I did in ceramics class. So I made one of the letter holders that I showed you previously. Um, I cut out some templates and then put them onto the slab of clay, cut them out and then I was able to use these shapes as references to make the letter holder. Um, I put them both on the, these trays, it just makes it easier, smoothed them out, made sure all of the edges are smooth because there's nothing worse than having like a really messy edge on ceramics um, I stamped my logo in and then started scratched and slipping um, before joining together the letter holder this was actually really really hard I think because gravity was against me I had to use like blocks to hold it up but this was the final letter holder and I'll paint it next week and here's what I had back from the kiln. Um, these have been bisque fired and then it was ready to glaze them. So I glazed them with this like midnight blue. Um, I was hoping it would be like a medium kind of blue. And then I painted the star and um, the, all of like the rainbow colours that come off it. And I did three coats of each colour just to make sure that it was opaque. That was the final one. And then this was the little boob pot shelf that I um, made. And I just made it all rainbow colours as an experiment. So I'll show you next week what it looks like. I wake up, I don't want to make my bed. I'll save up all my energy instead. You take up all the energy I have. I can't find a way to just ignore it And I can't really take it anymore Cause I can't stop you from running around through my mind Won't stop running, never will I'll take some melatonin pills this time Cause I just wanna sleep tonight yeah, I just want to sleep But lately I've been sleeping way too much Cause baby, I've been dreaming about us And I can't help but wish that all my dreams came true But I'm not ever wishing on a star That galaxies won't make you change your heart Won't make it any easier for me Stop dreaming by you So I've been getting bags under my eyes Cause I've been staying up too late at night Just writing all my feelings out on this page Deciding whether I should just confess or hide it Tell myself it's for the best But either way I go, I know you're never gonna feel the same So I drink my coffee, harder iced To get me through another lonely night I wanna fall asleep, but I shouldn't fall asleep this time 
Cause lately I've been sleeping way too much Cause baby I've been dreaming about us And I can't help but wish that all my dreams came Wednesday. So this morning I just spent some time trying out my new inks. So I got these inks and some brushes when I was in Singapore and this is the first time I got to try them. Um, so I just had a bit of a play about and made this super messy but colourful page and it was just really nice to create again without the expectation of it being perfect. Um, so yeah I've just done that this morning. I've got quite a lot to do today. Um, I've got to catch up on any Etsy orders that were made um, while I was away. And then I've also got a wholesale order on FAIR which I'm so so happy about. I joined FAIR in August um, and since then I've already had five orders in there and I haven't really done anything um, to promote it which is really really good and I've made about £750. Um, so yeah it's definitely something to look into if you're also a small business. Um, and they have these deals at the minute so that if I refer you, you get money and I get £200 as well. Um, and then they also have this thing where if someone orders through your link, they don't you don't pay any commission to fair, which is really, really good. Um, and you also get free shipping and things like that. They cover that. So, yeah, I found it a really, really good way to do my wholesale selling without much effort 
and promotion. So I got an order um, on the last day of the year and I'll quickly show you the order. This is how the order page looks. They ordered four All Bodies prints, four All Bodies Deserve Respect print, um, four of the Anybody is Non-Binary Body, um, four Celebrate Your Bodies, six of the A6 notepads, six of the Flower Power notebooks, four gold foiled prints, um, four I am growing prints and four love yourself prints. They also got six of the positive postcard packs, um, four powerful prints and four of the take up space prints. So yeah, I need to pack this today. This is actually going all the way to Oklahoma, which is why it's great that they cover the shipping on this. So let's get a packing. Goodbye! Goodbye! Isn't that nice? So I've just finished printing the prints, so I'll show you what we've got. Four of these. Four of these. Four of these. Four of these ones, I really love the colours on this. Another four of these ones. Um, I think there's four of everything. Um, <laughs> we've got some little square ones that say celebrate your body. Um, four of the large squares about um, being non-binary. Got four of the all bodies deserve respect in the mini postcard size. Um, Walter, the other two are just printing now. We've got six postcard packs, and I've got to collect some of the other order bits. But for now, I'm just going to put everything in the cellophane bags. We're on to the last few items now, which is six of these little to-do pad notebooks and six of the flower power notebooks. So I'm just gonna pack these up in some cello and then we can pack the final order up.
morning. So it's Friday the 6th of January. Um, I didn't really do much work yesterday. I went to get my hair done and then when I got home I just kind of spent the day tidying the house and having a bit of a spring clean. I'm back in the studio today and I've actually got all of the ceramics back that I did before Christmas. So I thought we could go through everything and I could show you it, like talk about whether I'm happy with it or not and what I want to do in the future. So the first thing I actually designed for my home, it's going to go on our front door once it's painted. Um, and it's a little door plaque with our house number on. I cut out the flower shape and the number ones and then kind of put them together. It's got holes for the screws onto the door. And I've painted it like lilac and this really nice like peachy pink. Um, the door is actually going to be painted lilac so yeah I thought it would look really really cute on the door and yeah I'm really really happy with it the back is a little bit messy it's got my logo on there's bits where I'm like oh I should have seen like that bit of glaze and wiped that off but yeah overall I'm really really happy you're not going to see the back so yeah that is the first piece the second piece is this boob pot um how did i make this i made it as like a pinch pot so you start with a ball of clay and put your thumb in and kind of mold it to this shape before attaching the little boobs and then i cut out all these flowers and put them on i just moved the camera because the lighting was so bad um but yeah so i put all this on and it's really really nice I didn't think that these would hold I don't know I was a bit nervous about them but yeah they are on really really secure and as for glazing it I used that same peachy pink color but on the outside I used a matte glaze it's like a matte speckle and it really just gives the most beautiful organic texture and yeah, I'm really, really happy. There's like a slight shine, but yeah, it's, it's matte and it feels a lot more matte than the inside. I also layered the speckle on top of the pink glaze to see how it would look. And to be honest, I'm not that impressed with it. Um, I think the speckle glaze definitely works better alone. So yeah, this is going to stay in my studio. I might use it as a little trinket dish or something, but I'm really, really happy with the size. And I really want to work on my pinch pots a bit more to kind of build the height up because um, I've only been able to get them quite short at the minute. The next thing I made was this vulva trinket tray and it was actually pretty simple to make. Um, I literally rolled out a slab and put it in a mould that had this kind of like shape and then cut it out. This is the shape of it. And then I painted it in like all of the colour glazes I could find. I wanted to see like what the glazes looked like and test them all. And this kind of acts like a swatch. So I used the purple, the teal, the yellow, the orange, the red and the pink. And then on the inside it has a little smiley face. And I used black for the eyes and mouth. And yeah, it's so, so glossy. It's really cute. It's like the size of my hand. And I'm really, really happy with it. I'd love to make another one of these, perfect it a little bit more, and then make a mould of it. And then I can sell these because my vulva trays did really, really well last year. And everyone seems to love all of the colours on them. So yeah, I was really, really happy with this. I'm going to show you the last thing now, which is my favourite thing ever. Um, give me a second. So this is my mushroom cake stand. Um, honestly, this was so hard to make. Um, I had lots of issues with making it, but love the final result. I'd love to make another and perfect it, but for now I'll show you this. So I started with rolling out a slab for this base and then curling up all these corners. And originally this, this curl was going to be facing upwards, um, but because of gravity, that just wasn't working out for me. Um, and I ended up attaching it to this base. I rolled out a slab and moulded it round a can. I attached it here and to be honest, 
it's very stable um but i'm i think i could have done better i could have added a coil i think and made it like smoother um because it goes in here i don't know if you can see on the camera but it goes in from where i've like scratched and slipped and added more clay so yeah i think i could have done better there um and the shape maybe it's a bit thick and a bit tall um but that's something i can perfect in the future for the top um because it was so big when i was making it um and the clay was still a little bit wet it has it dinted in the middle i don't know if you can see here it goes in a little bit where the hole of this is um so it's definitely not flat and it's got quite a lot of dents but saying all of that it was my first larger scale piece and i had this vision i didn't really think about it i just went with it and this is what came out of it so yeah i'm really really proud of it it looks super cute in my kitchen i use it as a cake stand and i think i'm going to try and make another smaller version and just perfect it a little bit more so yeah that was everything i made in a three weeks of ceramics classes so they're two hours each so it was six hours total um that includes all the making and then the glazing as well so yeah i was really really impressed with myself and super excited i've obviously just started back this week which i'm sure you've seen the footage of um and i just can't wait to continue my ceramics journey so the rest of today i am mostly doing admin i'm going to do a little bit of filming some reels of these pieces as i've not shown them on instagram quite yet um and yeah i will speak to you soon about 3 p.m um the sun is going down it's getting dark so i thought i'd quickly show you what i've done um so i just did some sketches trying to kind of mind map valentine's day ideas as i'd like to do a shop drop around then um and then i've just kind of wrote down different product ideas so i'd like to do some mirror stickers um i think i could get them in quite quickly ready for a valentine's release um i want to release my self-love book which is all designed i just haven't sent it off to the printer because it's quite expensive to print um i think i want to start with some really low quantities um and hopefully just take the plunge and order it this week I want to do some hanging decorations, some coasters and some cards. So I'm not setting myself too much of a goal. It's quite a small drop, um, but it's really nice to do something for Valentine's Day, try and get back into having product releases. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna go inside now and draw on my iPad and do some sketches and just get snuggled up because it is freezing. Monday I'm back in the studio this morning 
Um, I didn't really film at the weekend. I just did some work inside the house. So I didn't have my camera. And we went on a few walks with Walter, which was really nice. Um, but yeah, back to work today. I think today is going to be the last day of this studio vlog because um, then it will have been a week. So today's jobs, I want to um, draw in my sketchbook for an hour, start on some Valentine's Day designs um, and then edit the self-love workbook because I want this to be ready for the Valentine's Day launch. Um, so you might have seen this in previous studio vlogs. It was something I made while at uni for a self-directed project and it's like a little workbook on how to love yourself and be kind to yourself. Um, and I couldn't really afford to get them printed at the time. Um, so I've decided I'm just gonna get very few copies of it and just see how it goes before I invest in a lot of stock. So before I order them, I want to order them today, I've gone through with post-it notes just kind of pointing out things that I need to work on. So. I wanted to take away my at sign because in the past when I've added my Instagram handles then my Instagram gets blocked and I have to change it so so I'm not really going to keep adding these then so for example on another page for this piece of artwork the W has the wrong colour outline and it's something as small of that that I've just missed when working on it while at uni so there's just a few edits for me to get on with this morning um see what else there is like here um i don't know if you can see that the color is blue and it's meant to be pink so i just need to color fix that and yeah there's just a few little bits that i want to edit on this um and order it so i'm hoping it will only take me about an hour um, and then hopefully if I've got time I'll do some jasmineite today however it is freezing cold outside which is why I have a hot water bottle um, so I don't know if it's too cold to do that yet today so yeah we will see and I will keep you updated when I have finished the self-love workbook hello so it's a couple of days later and I did finish the final edits for the loving yourself workbook um and that has been sent off so i will be able to show you that in the next studio vlog um i've got a little bit of a cold which is why i might have been sniffling through this vlog so i do apologize for that um but yeah i'm just going to end the studio vlog here oh walter just knocked the camera <laughs> um thank you so so much for watching and joining me for my first official studio vlog of 2023 um i'm wishing you all the best for the year ahead and i hope you will join me on my journey to grow my small business um if you enjoyed this please like and subscribe and comment anything you would like to see in the future it really does mean the world to me you can also follow me over on instagram tiktok or pinterest um yeah and i will speak to you in the next studio vlog see you later Yeah.